Another thing we hear from clients is that they believe that the federal government will offer a disaster grant to them. There's a lot that has to happen for that to be able to be the case. First off, the flooding event has to be so significant that it is making um, national and international news. The governor has to declare a state of emergency and the president has to declare this a state of emergency that would allow the access of federal funds. President Biden just recently did this you know, for the Hurricane Ida that we experienced last year. And the program sounds really great, like it would make sense. He said that there would be $36,000 that would be available for every home that was damaged. However, what is the reality of this is that the damages are still exceeding the amount of the federal grant, which would cause many people to have to seek a loan. So the federal government tried again, and they offered an SBA loan for these federal disasters, which is a no interest loan. However, they take the 36,000, if you were lucky enough to get that or whatever you were given, and they apply that to the loan already. So the amount that you would get is still drastically low, leaving you to have to purchase or get your own loan that is outside of the government. If these homeowners had purchased a flood, policy, they would have uh, navigated around a lot of the red tape and they would have been able to remedy the losses that they had much quicker and with less headache.